Well, some lost everything in flooded waters, their belongings, necessities, and needs for their pets, too. And yesterday, the Houston Humane Society came to the aid of a lot of people with a drive through disaster relief giveaway to support impacted families and pass out some free pet food along the way. CW39 Houston's Kara Willis is joining us live this morning to tell us more about what the Houston Humane Society did, their impact on this giveaway, and how they're continuing to always help families. So, Kara, tell us more about what was happening yesterday and what happens today and beyond. That's right, Sharon. The Houston Humane Society, like many of our shelters and rescues across Houston, always step up for the community to make sure animals and the people that take care of them are taken care of. And yesterday, they had their disaster relief distribution event at Santa Fe Middle School. This is with Cleveland ISD in Cleveland, Texas. And they say that they had a great turnout, making sure that families got everything they needed for their pets. Now, the event yesterday offered free pet food and supplies to those affected families um, that were affected from the flood and the Houston Humane Society partnered with the Houston Food Bank, Cleveland ISD and Santa Fe Middle School to put the event together. Affected families in the community lined up for the free supplies until everything ran out. And the good news is that even if you weren't able to attend, the Houston Humane Society wants to make sure that you get the resources you need as you repair, as you rebuild, if you lost everything in the flood. Now the assistant marketing manager, Macy Stay, says that they are still in desperate need of donations to keep providing these type of resources to families in need. We're lucky enough to not be located in the areas that did experience major flooding. We experienced just a bit of bad weather, but you know we did prepare and we got with our pet resources team to gather as many resources as possible. So what it's meant for HHS is we're in recovery mode. We want to help as many pets stay with their families during this time of disaster as possible. So if you are in need of some after flood care, here are some post flood care tips to protect you and the animals that are in your care. If possible, make sure to get rid of any standing water. This is to prevent any mosquito breeding. You know that we are in that time of year where mosquitoes get really bad. Also check for outdoor hazards like down power lines. If you if your dog um, lives outside and you know you've got them in the backyard, just make sure that everything is clear before um, letting them back out there. And also if your pet or if you are feeding a at this time and they've been without food for a little bit, make sure that you ease food to them in smaller amounts slowly. Don't force it on them as they are dealing with some trauma during this time. But there are more resources you can get on the Houston Humane Society's website. We have all that on CW39.com. And also, the good news is that yesterday, the Houston Humane Society was able to service, get this, over 100 families that needed help for them and their pets. Back to you. And Kira, can you just tell us real briefly, can people or are they still accepting donations from people at this time too? Absolutely, Sharon. They say that they're actually in desperate need of those donations. I mean, the donations that they receive is how they're able to put on events like yesterday, and they say that they'll continue to be a resource for families as long as those donations continue to keep coming in. So you can easily go onto their website. Again, that's on our website at CW39.com, and there's a link you can click to give anything that your heart desires. All right, Kara Willis, great job as always, and we appreciate the updated information on this too. Thank you so much.